hey everybody, here's where I say, uh, lots of people have been asking me for a drum set tour, but really like four people have. But over the years, since I did one six years ago or whatever, I actually have had a lot of requests. So here we go with the Fall 23 Tour Kit. It's the same uh, classic Maple Ludwig Red Sparkle Kit I've used for many years, and I think this is gonna be its final, its final tour. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna get next. I don't know. Maybe some legacies. We'll see. Sweet circus bears behind the camera rocking it. There you go. And let's start here. A, my new addition this year is I've joined up with Porter and Davies. Uh, it's a tactile, it's this thing that you can feel your drums in your spine and your chest and your feet. It's absolutely amazing. It is an absolute game changer compared to all other drum thrones or drum thumpers and subs. It's unreal. It has changed my game completely and I'm never going back. So Porter and Davies, I can't say enough. So anyway, like I said, the Red Sparkle uh, Ludwig Maple Classics, 10, uh, 10, 12, 13, 16, 18, 24, um, Ludwig Black Beauty, Aldridge scrolled it, it's a quad scroll, I think there's only one of them in the world, which is sweet, maybe there's a couple more by now, I'm sure Sutter got one, um, this year, I was going to go four, but my shoulder's a little wonky, so we made room for uh, the ride, um, always going to be Sabians, uh, and matter of fact, speaking of the ride, I got a Zuckerman on the way. Oh, I'm very excited. Needed a little more bell for out front. So I got, I got that coming and some backups. But most of my big loud crashes over here are the explosions. I got artisans over here. I got an HH complex hanging out over here. I've got a, uh, I got Mr. Mr. Peart, the professor. I got a Paragon China, which I absolutely love. People ask about this all the time. That's a NXXR Monarch Ozone on top of a China, and it gets a little... Just a weird, like, wonky sound, which I dig. Um, oh, with the drum, I got this... Sorry, I got my 8-inch little puffy boy for my ballads. Um, and now we get to... Oh, back in the cymbals, I got little 12 inches. I use these hats for loops. These are my uh, Evolution. Uh, Hi-hats, I love them, they're 15s. I was gonna get like some smaller hats, some 13s or, or 14s to make loop sounds, but then I was like, nah, so Bear just stuck them right there. Um, let's see, crashes are covered, I got my artisan up there. Okay, so here we get to the new guys. Obviously we have, <clears throat> this is just for iPad, my brain's fried, and a lot of times John will just call a random song that I don't really know, but I have charts for it, and I just zip, 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 zip and I can chase it with that. So. That's just where he lives, my SPD. All people ask a lot. I have a lot of questions over here um, regarding this. I never use the internal sounds. I don't use imported sounds into that. This only exists as a controller for Ableton, which lives over there. And in Ableton, we fly in clicks and my counts that counts off songs and loops. And there's like one song where there's like string arrangement, stuff like that. But uh, it's just it's just a controller, so I can start and stop. And this is my all kill. When I hit this, it starts the click, the count, and everything. If everybody gets off, or if John gets weird, or whatever, and I need to kill the the, the loops, I don't hit this and kill the loops. I just hit that button and the pause button. Uh, the the next downbeat from wherever we are, the loops will die and the click will continue, so I can continue to party with them. Elliot, our monitor engineer, sends um, a two mix back to me and splits off kick, snare, click, counts, and loops. And I put them here so if I'm playing, I can dip over here and reach back and I can just say, oh, I need more kick, whatever. And, I, and volume, obviously, pan. This uh, aux is the Porter and Davies driver so I can decide how much kick goes, to, you know, hits me in the butt by, by cueing that up. Uh, right here is my, just an external click, um, and I'm actually, much as I love it, I'm going to try to find one that doesn't turn itself off after 20 minutes or whatever, because that's a real annoying, that's a really annoying feature. And now our new, newest feature to the kit, I've had the quick sticks, uh, drink colder forever on here. Um, let's go with sticks real quick before we get to this. I've been using Vader Westside, it's been Vader forever, but this week, started messing with these these acorns and I think I'm gonna try these for a bit 
um, uh, a little wonky, I'm going backwards, but just for the, the Aquarian heads on everything, on the kick, on the 24, I'm trying this Force 1, uh, and we're going to see how that works for, for the first couple of weeks, and if I need to change it, I will change it. Um, the tops of the toms are always Super 2 clears, bottoms are classic clears. I just love the warmth and the, and the range and the roundness, but they also have like a slap on top, really snappy, and Daddy likes the snappy. So, the newest addition is the Geva uh, electronic drums. Instead of flying in all the loops, we're going to continue to fly in shakers and stuff like that, but I wanted to hit the snares and the toms and the, you know, I wanted to hit the big hits with the Geva. So I have a, I have a, uh, uh, instead of my double pedals, I have a left foot that plays the Geva kick drum. This is the G3 kit. This is the G3 brain. And this is two G3 toms. So basically, if I want to start, you know, now, instead of just flying in and me just playing my regular kick drum and my regular snare, I used to be going like, and it was just loud. It was the big volume, the big attack volume in, that, that you get in the choruses. And I wanted it to be a different thing. And instead of having 19 snares, now I just go, Now I can, and I can change it. I'll just change it down here. And if I just, I'll just roll through the song. So that's how I'm going to use those this year. Um, oh, we can do some fun stuff. Smoke weed every day. Anyway, uh, let's hear the Tom. You want to come around here? So check it out. Uh, so anyway, let me show you this. Like if I wanted to play this, uh, when I hit this, everything will start. You'll hear my, if I just hit this, you just hear the click and I kill it. And if I, and if I hit these, it advances, you know, back and forward in the songs. This is like a save for like the second chorus or whatever. And I almost never use it. If we get off, I just, I just find my way around. But if I wanted to start, here's how it goes. Dirt. Two. Three. Right. So that's where I go in, but let's... That, that's how I'm going to use that this year, and we'll see how it works with my left side. Right now, I'm not real good at it, but uh, here are these Super 2s on these Ludwigs. There they are. I gotta find the camera and make eyes. Anyway, so there's my kit. And our new stuff, our gave us stuff, our new symbols are coming. We very excite and lovely and talented Will Easterwood, Circus Bear behind the camera, has set these up and tuned them. I just walked in 
and this is how they were. And I'm, um, cooler drum. oh, the Jeff Brown cooler drum will continue to ride. I have this guy for starlight, and when I'm done with it, I'll just chuck it, and somehow Bear finds it in the night, snatches it out of the sky, and brings it back to me for the next verse. But anyway, um, we're excited for this year. We're excited to wrap up the year with this kit, maybe wrap up this kit's life on tour, and uh, then we'll see what happens after that. But uh, thanks for asking. Let's party. See ya.